back to Stevie's Drunken World. Today we're trying something that I definitely should have had a long time ago, but I've actually never tasted this in my entire life. Uh, and it's also, I would call it an ale, but it's not, it's, it's a beer. Um, it's McEwen's Export. It is a really popular Scottish beer. It's the flagship beer of quite a lot of public houses across Edinburgh and Scotland. Uh, which means it'll be the, like the sign outside the pub. Sometimes you like the big signs that are outside, so be tenants, be Strongbow, whatever it is. Um, quite a lot of the small pubs in Edinburgh use McEwen's, that is their pub. It's the, the, the beer that's advertised on their coasters and stuff like that. Uh, I've actually never ever tried it because it doesn't appeal to me at all. But I bought a four pack. Uh, and they are the larger cans. I just found the Stella video so you can see the, the size difference there. Uh, I think this is coming up to near enough a pint. Uh, it's clocking in at 4.5% ABV uh, and 2.3 uh, UK units. Uh, it's coming across, that is the design of the bottle there. It's uh, raising a glass since 1856, I believe in it, yeah. And uh, refill it at the bottom there. Yeah, nothing really exciting about the design there. Um, it's got the pretty basic full tab on top. Data printed on the bottom. Nothing particularly exciting with the can at all. Um, I actually don't know what color this is going to be. I genuinely don't have a clue because, like, I'm pretty sure it's ale, but it, it doesn't say ale. But I've always, I've always had it in my head that this is ale, and I don't know why it's an export. So I don't know why I thought it was ale. But e e either way, we're, we're gonna we're gonna open it just now, and this is generally gonna be the first time I've ever seen this in person poured. Uh, the first time I've ever opened a can of this. Uh, I've never seen a can of this opened ever. Um, so this is truly going to be a, a genuine first ever reaction here. Um, let's go into it, let's open it up. Okay, so it is looking black. It does look like the sort of colour of coke. Um, oh, I don't like the smell of that. It does smell like ale, that's what's getting me. It smells like ale and I, I'm not an ale drinker, I don't like ale. Uh, I do have a few ales in that cover to try on this channel, but uh, either way, let, um, let's get this poured out. I swear, is it black? Oh no, it's not black. I, I when I looked at it through the can, it looked sort of like Guinness or sort of black. Yeah, we're, we're getting. It's a pint can. Okay. So we've got a pint of it poured there. Uh, it's coming across. It's a lovely. It's got a lovely nice head on it. And um, I will say the reason that I've actually decided to try this uh, is because one of my friends uh, from high school, which I hadn't seen from ages, and the last time I saw them, uh, now nah, we met up again after high school. Uh, we both got blackout drunk, and I had to get my aunt to come and pick us both up because we were out of our bloody heads. Um, and this is his his surname uh, is this drink, so it's, it was sort of a joke with him. Uh, he mentioned it a couple of times that night, and he told me to buy it, and I bought it on that night. Well, the next day I bought it, uh, and now he doesn't talk to me anymore. Shout out to Aaron. Um, so yeah, they've just been sat in my room for ages, and I've decided, you know, now that I've started this channel, I might as well give them a little tasty tasty. Okay, I am anticipating that this is gonna taste not nice at all to me. It's a really popular one, so I... I think it's gonna be one of the ones where I don't like it, but that's gonna be the unpopular opinion. Uh, but, uh, either way, let's go for a big gulp here. I'm gonna go for, actually, I'm gonna go for a small gulp here, because I'm, I'm not convinced I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, actually... It's actually not bad, it tastes, it tastes kind of like coffee actually. Really bizarrely, that tastes like coffee. I was not expecting that, it tastes really nice and it's got some very, it's always say it's ice cold, but it, it I, can't, I don't know how to describe this because it's, it's not gonna sound like I want it to, but it's, it tastes warm. It's got a warm taste. Um, it's like it's warmed up my mouth and it's warmed up my, my throat and my cockles. It, it's just, 
it's really really nice actually i wasn't expecting to enjoy that i genuinely was not expecting that to be a a nice one i, I don't know why why it built up in my head that it wasn't going to be nice and it was going to be a horrible thing to drink i don't know why that had built up like that in my head um maybe i'd read something or one of my friends had mentioned how terrible it was something like that uh, and it's just sort of stuck in my head since then but oh it's very 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 gassy again my god uh, maybe i just burp at everything that's some sure. the second i burp on camera just uh, accuse the drink of being gassy um okay i'll go back for a smell now that i know what it tastes like see now that i know what it tastes like it doesn't really smell of anything before i thought the smell was quite horrible it wasn't the nicest um actually I'm getting quite a caramelly taste. It's not, it's like caramelized coffee. A caramel flavored latte is what it tastes like to me. That is why it's coming across very caramel lassie. Um, I believe this is actually brewed in my hometown, I believe. Brewed in Edinburgh. So this is brewed in Edinburgh, which is where I live and where I'm filming this from. Um. Yeah, it's, it's caramel taste. It tastes, it's a caramel beer. That's the only way I can describe this to you, is it tastes like caramel. Uh, so yeah, McEwen's export. I actually really like that. I was not expecting to enjoy that. So like, so intensely enjoy it, like genuinely really like it. Because there's a few times where I can drink something and it's tolerable, but I'm drinking that and it's genuinely really, really nice. It's really weird, I wasn't expecting it. It's such a shock to me to really enjoy this. Uh, and I've taken it back, it's not an ale. It's definitely not an ale. Uh, it doesn't taste like an ale, it doesn't look like an ale, it doesn't act like an ale. It's, it's, it's a beer, it is a beer. It's, I mean, it does say it's, it's a premium beer on, you know, that focuses there yeah premium beer there um original scottish it is something that i probably could have had long ago uh i'm pretty sure most scottish people have had this in the past um so yeah on the rating of that i i'm gonna give that a six out of ten that is really nice i i think i would order that in a pub i don't know what it's like on draft i do want to do videos once the, the lockdown is over i completely and utterly over not just pubs are open like everything's over and we can go in there uh, without a mask on and everything's just you know it's completely safe um so really the next few years i want to try and do taste tests of ones you know from draft uh, in pubs uh, obviously with uh, the consent of the landlord um yeah yeah i really like that anyway so thank you guys very much for watching this video and uh i hope you're enjoying your new year i think we're like quarter through january now was it january 14th or something uh, or two weeks into january so um yeah i hope this year is going a little bit better for you um yeah please drink responsibly